In this video, you'll learn about the different Aspen gradebook preferences. To get started, log in and select Set Preferences. Once you've selected Set Preferences, click on Gradebook. You may need to drag the window down and out so that you can see the whole window. I'm going to do that now. So here we go. To start, I've selected Shade Alternate Lines. This makes the gradebook much easier to read. Next, I've checked Track Administrator Updates. By doing this, I can see who besides me has logged into my account. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Next is Tab Direction. I've selected Down. The other option is Across. By selecting Down, when I hit the Tab key, the cursor will move down within a column. I've unchecked Show Studies. I don't need to see studies in my gradebook. Next, I've checked Enable Gradebook Features. This allows me to enter assignments and then to enter grades for students for those assignments. Next, in Assignment Column Order, I've selected Sequence Number. The other option are Date Due Ascending and Date Due Descending. I like to have all my tests together, all my quizzes together, etc., so I like Sequence Number. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Next, I've checked Show Points and Headers. This shows the number of points each assignment is worth in, these, in the header row. I've also checked Show Category Names in Headers. This shows the category that each assignment belongs to in the header row. I have unchecked Publish Assignment Statistics. If you check this, students and parents will be able to see statistics about your assignments. These statistics include minimum score, maximum score, and average score. I've checked Show Student Alerts. By doing so, I'll be able to see the little icons for IEPs, 504s, etc. For now, I've unchecked Show Course Selection. When students are selecting courses in the spring, I'll check this, and that way I'll be able to see what course I've recommended each student for. Anchor Averages is new. I'm going to check this. By checking this, now the term average for each student will show at the beginning of the row instead of at the end of the row, making it easier for me to track students' progress. Next are all the things about averages. This is the default weighting scheme that Aspen will use for my classes. There are four. For the moment, I've selected total points. I can use a different scheme for a particular class if I want to. I'll show you how to do that later. Decimals is simply the number of decimal places that Aspen displays for assignments and for averages. And for grade scale, I'm going to click here on the magnifying glass. I'm going to select the high school grade scale. I have a custom grade scale that I made some time ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I'm not going to select that. I'm going to click on OK here, and then OK here, and now I'm done.